Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Education Moment here for the Children's Museum Houston. I'm Allie, the Life Science Educator, and today we're going to be doing a Texas Native Animal Show and Tell. Today's native animal is the monarch butterfly, and I can't wait to tell you all about it. Animals are all around us, and if you search, they might astound us. Some are large, some are small, some fly above and some just crawl. Walking by a park, I see all these animals roaming free. All animals, I think, are swell, so here's my animal show and tell. One of the special things about butterflies is their life cycle. Butterflies go through a special process called metamorphosis. You see, butterflies start out as little eggs hatched on a leaf. So different types of butterflies actually lay their eggs on different types of plants. And the monarch butterfly lays its eggs only on the milkweed plant. So it will lay its eggs on the underside of the milkweed leaf and then these eggs hatch into caterpillars. A larger version of the caterpillar is this. If you can see, the monarch butterfly's caterpillar is very distinct. He has yellow and white stripes across his black body. So once the caterpillar hatches, he begins to eat off of the milkweed plant. He eats a lot of the milkweed leaves until he's completely full. You can see these caterpillars throughout your neighborhood between the months of March through April. Once the caterpillar is done growing, and begin, it begins the pupa stage. And that's when it begins to hang from a branch, upside down usually, and it forms a chrysalis. A, so this chrysalis um, is, like, is a wrapping that it makes itself, uh, and its whole body begins to be enclosed. And that's, once it's fully enclosed, their bodies actually begin to change. The caterpillar's body breaks itself down from the inside out, and those cells begin to form something completely different, an adult butterfly, just like this one. Soon enough, the adult butterfly emerges and flies away looking for nectar from flowers to feed on. Then it will eventually lay its eggs on the milkweed leaves again, and the cycle starts all over. You can see monarch butterflies while walking in your neighborhood. I found some while walking in mine. Let me share with you some interesting facts about butterflies while I show you some of the footage I found with my butterflies. These facts actually come from the Farmer's Almanac. The adult female monarch butterfly lays tiny eggs covered with a sticky substance on the underside of milkweed leaves, which is extremely toxic. The caterpillar hatches from its egg several days later and survives on these milkweed leaves. The monarch caterpillar and adult butterfly retain the poison from the milkweed leaves in its body, thus protecting it from being eaten by predators. The monarch butterfly's bright colors serve as a warning to predators that they are poisonous and they should attack at their own risk. Once the monarch butterfly is hatched, it only lives for approximately two to six weeks. Monarchs smell with their antennae. Nectar and water are tasted by the sensory hairs on their legs and feet. Monarch butterflies cannot bite and drink through a long tongue called the proboscis that works like an eyedropper drawing up nectar. Like a retractable garden hose, its tongue coils up under its lower lip when it's not in use. Every spring, monarch butterflies head north from the winter respite in the southern forests of Mexico and California and return in the fall, a journey some 2,000 to 3,000 miles each way. The monarch butterfly will continue to feed, fly, and reproduce throughout the U.S. and southern Canada for several generations. It is the fourth generation of monarch butterflies that actually migrate to Mexico in the fall. Monarch butterflies travel as much as 100 miles a day during this migration. 
I want to thank the Strake Foundation for sponsoring this video, and I can't wait for you to come back and see another one of our Texas native animals. Bye!